每天，当我穿梭在这个城市里的时候，我的自豪感会油然而生。How happy the Uyghurs are! Or that's what you'd think if you believe the propaganda videos that crop up on the official Twitter feed of the Chinese news agency Xinhua. The Muslim Uyghurs are portrayed as prospering, living free lives. No mention of the harsh lockdown during COVID-19. But distressing recent videos Uyghurs themselves have posted tell a different story. This desperate man says he and his wife and children are starving. Uyghurs were barely allowed to leave their homes during the COVID-19 lockdown. A Chinese woman tells this Uyghur man to get back inside. What do we do when we're hungry? He says, "Eat the building." Since 2017, up to a million Uyghurs have been placed in what some call concentration camps, and the Chinese government calls vocational education centers. Now the authorities have stepped up their program to disperse Uyghurs around China, far from their families. During the、uh, post-COVID-19, or during you know last、uh, several months, starting from.、Uh, February, March.、Um, not only has China failed to empty its concentration camps for people's safety, but China has sent massive, massive numbers of Uyghurs、um, to China proper to work as slaves. This propaganda video from February. Says 179 migrant workers are leaving Xinjiang for Fujian in China's east. Reports suggest that the workers are paid, but have no choice about going to the factories. Videos uncovered by the investigative news organization Coda Story also show groups of Uyghurs being sent away. But listen to the soundtrack: a Chinese version of the old Italian freedom anthem, Bella Ciao. These videos are posted on social media by Uyghurs who are not happy to be bused to factories far from home. It's really troubling, as you know. They they call these Uyghur workers batches. You know, they say they have 500 or 300 workers available to be hired in 15 days. You know, they can be delivered within a week or two weeks, and then they can withstand hardship. And they, um, and you know, they promise if you hire these workers, there will be no staff loss. Most labor transfers reportedly happen within Xinjiang itself, but increasingly, Uyghurs are being moved from their native region to China's manufacturing belt in the east. To work in factories in places like Qingdao, Fuzhou, and Guangzhou, supplying some of the world's biggest brands. China has used Xinjiang as a testing ground for digital surveillance. Today, the State Department announced sanctions on some employees of tech companies, including Huawei, for involvement in human rights abuse against Uyghurs. Huawei maintains that its operations in Xinjiang's security sector are only through third parties. So when we think about Huawei, it's not just about security. It's not just about national security. It's also about the ethics and you know what their services are are being used for and who their services are being used on. The Chinese government is determined that the Uyghurs should assimilate, marry Han Chinese who've been encouraged to move to Xinjiang. They must learn to be obedient communists, to forget their religion and culture, and any thoughts of defying the Chinese state.